Hey, welcome back to Two Super Guys Trade Socks. I'm Dylan. And I'm Vinny. And today we're going to talk about an uh, interesting topic. So if you've been on the channel a little while, both uh, I'm buying Google and Meta. Uh, I'm not sure if you have any positions in either yes, one at this point in time. Yes, both. Nice. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. Um, wh what I wanted to do is like one of the, one of the news stories that they're talking about is uh, the kind of coming recession and how it's going to affect the like, ad spend. So I wanted to go back to the previous kind of you know, downturn economic activity we had and look at what that, how that affected these businesses and how it affected ad spend in general. Right. Uh, if you like this kind of entertaining stock market content, we're just two super guys trying to figure everything out. Man, I stumbled real hard. Let's get started. Two stupid guys trade stocks. That was in the days. Um, yeah. So you're saying... The, they're projecting that ad spend will decline in a recession. So what did ad spend actually do in the last recession? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And how did it affect these two stocks in particular? Unfortunately, only one of them was public at the time of the last recession, 2008, uh, the Great Recession, if you will. Um, so we only have data from, from Google for that. But Meta, we, we actually will look at the kind of the resurgence a little bit along the line with Meta and see how they did during that time period. Yeah, but Meta is getting hit on two different yeah, like two different ways for ad spend due to the location services issue. Yes. Uh, this video is not designed to be an all-encompassing analysis of either Google or Meta. We have other videos in those. We can link both of those to this video. Got it. Uh, but this just kind of wanted to give you an idea of like, you know, people are talking about like a recession. Like it, it, it's this, uh, you know, almost certainty. You know, I even the headline I saw today was that uh, Citigroup is now saying it's a 50% chance of recession in the next year. Uh, so it, recession in, odds are definitely increasing, according to the vast majority of economists, which is pretty funny because it depends on whether or not you, you, you buy into the, the their predictions of the, of the world. Uh, when's the last time you met like a multi-billionaire economist, right? There is uh, one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it, it's obvious this is like stuff that's on people's minds. So if you ever use Google Trends, it's actually kind of interesting to look at this. Um, you're looking at recession just kind of taken off in terms of it, it, its search volume. It's something people are really worried about and um, are really tra tracking and following now. Uh, certainly inflation has been a, a trend for a while. People have been worried about that. Uh, but now recession is, you know, in the last month or so, it's just kind of gone parabolic, right? Yes. Oh, no, it's, it's taken off. Everyone's talking about it constantly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, all you got to do is go on to YouTube and you just see all these recession kind of U.S. economy heading for recession, all this sort of stuff. Dame Ramsey, of course, even thinks we're heading for recession, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, you know, what's yeah, funny right. is people are equating cryptocurrency um, falls and crashes to there will definitely be a recession now because Bitcoin is at 20000 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know how that like, makes sense. I actually care at all about the yeah. price of Bitcoin right now. <laughs> Don't get it. Um, yeah, 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 exactly. So, you know, digital media, kind of the, the, the realm that both Google and Facebook operate in, Meta operate in, is that this kind of growing U.S. digital media ad spend, right? And you're looking at astronomical growth rates projected over the next few years, you know? Um, it, just a market that you really want to be involved with, you know, th this whole targeted ads and that sort of stuff that that's really where you want to be um that's why these both of these companies are there and this is why they're both attractive to me um but i went on to look at you know the actual projections here and they're going all the way out to uh, 2025 and you're looking at a 300 billion dollar market right right we'll and this, uh, i do believe that because traditionally ads it at least in media were over cable which is dying and then you have other streaming services which you can pay and not get ads so a lot of stuff, you know, Google ad, all that's Facebook ads is, I feel like is going to be the kind of the, the big spender. Yeah. I mean, ads are certainly a growing segment within like the, the kind of new streaming platforms, but they're not as well established in terms of, uh, you know, monetizing like, you know, uh, this ad content as opposed to like YouTube or, uh, meta Facebook, and their algorithms. Uh, so, you know, this is a chart going back to 2000, uh, looking at ad spend in North America uh, every year. And if you notice, like, we get to that great uh, recession time period here, 2008, 2009, you do see a dip down in the ad spend, right? Um, kind of stays flat for a few years, and then we just get this parabolic kind of recovery and then project it out in the future here to continue this parabolic trend. It's just phenomenal. Right. So we're thinking... A, if the recession comes, would we just dip a little bit and then restabilize within, what is that, like three, four years? Four yeah, years? I mean, it, it was a protracted one, right? Because like that, that was, 
yeah, let's just call it the Great Reception, right? Uh, recession, right? Like it, it wasn't exactly a, a simple, uh, quick time period, but it, it was very complicated in the, the unwinding of major financial institutions and these, you know, kind of home loans that were just garbage loans. Which fortunately we don't have any of that sort of stuff this time that we're aware of at this point. So hopefully it will not be quite as protracted of a recessionary phase. Only one way to find out. Yeah. So this is what you're looking at for the ad spend. You know, you have that little dip down for 2008, you know, much worse for 2009. And then you know, recovery slowly over the next few years, right? You know, three, four, five percent, nothing, nothing astronomical as far as that goes. And, you know, Internet and kind of this online ad spend was definitely in, in like an earlier time period. Right. right. Um, so now this right here is Google's revenue from 2004, 2022. All right. Now, Google was public at the time, so fortunately, we do actually have data for them. Um, if you if you notice, they didn't really have much of a change here. Yeah, if you look at the, the whole kind of um, trend, this period was a little bit flatter, maybe, than some of the other segments that are adjacent to it, but it, still the overall trend direction w was intact. And if we look at it on a numerical basis here, um, this is, the, I said once again, their revenue here. So 2007, 16.59. Then 2008, 21.79, and then 2009, which is kind of the year that you saw like the worst change in, in ad spend in general. They still grew at eight and a half percent. Yeah, that year. that's disgusting. Well, actually, that's gross. Yeah, because yeah. that's oof, that's very impressive. Yeah. You know what they call that right there, Dylan? Uh, invest in me now. Well, I was going to say a durable moat, but uh, yeah, exactly. I was going to say this, put this your is... money in me. All right. Close. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, you know, let's not talk too dirty right now. Um, <laughs> like I said, unfortunately, uh, Facebook was, didn't go public until 2012, um, so we don't have data back quite as far on them. Um, but I'm going to look at it on a year-by-year -year basis here, and you do still see that they were able to to grow uh, during that time period, which was relatively flat. Right. Um, so they're still looking at, you know, like I said, this is the first year, 2011. That they provided data for they went public in 2012 uh but 15% they were growing that year then they grew 60% the following year yeah looking back at the the revenue growth per year for meta it's pretty gross uh, i mean you're talking 60 50 40 30% like you know years on a regular basis like that they were you know moved around quite a bit but those were the numbers they were putting up it's pretty disgusting i yeah, believe that, that's i believe facebook is at 160 right now or sorry my bad meta not facebook meta sorry what do you think is a solid buy for them because like google i i want to say i think today are that like 2200 ish i'm mm -hmm. not buying more until they hit uh below 2000 i wanted like 1950 and i yeah, may not yeah, get I, it before the split I, I think that's reasonable um personally right now um i i've been buying meta since 200 uh, and i'm continuing to add shares uh at, at this point uh, I think that that's kind of like my, my, my target price. In terms of Google, I own a little starter position, just one share. Uh, I mean, it's $2,000 a share. Uh, my hope is to buy an additional four, and I would do that uh, as it drops, hopefully, to $1,600. That's, that's, a, that's the number I'd love to see. I mean, I know I'm just like, you know, some people tell me I'm, I'm wishing pie in the sky, but, you know, th that, that's my number where it's like, you know, you got to mortgage the kids. And yeah, the, no, I mean, if it hits $1,600. Oh, I might sell my Fubo for that. Yeah. Okay. That's Probably interesting. not. Because it's already yeah. worthless. Uh, well, you know, tax loss harvesting. There you go. You oh, yeah. I'm beautiful saving it for December. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be perfect. I love it. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's unreasonable to try to ship away, like, another. So it's 2200 or so now. If you do another $200 per share drop and buy another share, and it's kind of, you know, trend down that way if it continues to drop, increasing my position size. Uh, but, you know, Alibaba has definitely taught me to be a little bit more patient with my building out of position and, and waiting because the price will likely continue to improve and you can get your dollar cost average down. I better. agree. Trying to buy at the absolute bottom, you just kind of risk missing everything and having it go up and you never had a chance. If you just scale in, meaning let's say you have $10,000 right now that you want to invest, buy one share of Google, that's 2000 Maybe wait till it hits 1900. You just like draw prices where you're like, I'm comfortable buying it at this lower price, and I'm not gonna be mad if it gets there and my other previous share at 2100 is now down 200 bucks. Because this, this would be a long term investment. 
Yeah. I, I ideally the way I like to do my my DCF is that I want to have it at like a fifteen percent or so of projected return, and Google right now uh, is a little bit under that. I'm looking at like a thirteen percent or so it, by my numbers, but like you know that that that's worth you know not a lot, but you know that's right. basically what I'm thinking. Um, so like you know like I said, if we get down to that two thousand or even a little bit lower, I'll have both my fifteen percent return and hopefully margin of safety, which you know I wish for basically. But that, that's well, that's what my, my thought is. When the spy hits three thirty, we'll be there. Don't worry about it. Hey, you know what? It might happen. <laughs> oh, it's gonna, and by October, my my yeah. my two lines that I drew already hit. So, yeah, all right, guys, like let us know yeah. if you're uh, thinking uh, Google and Facebook are getting a little bit more attractive, and I said if the recession is going to be affecting ad spend. Yeah, catch you in the next one.